your first sample collection. It might be hard to imagine it now because if you're like me, you'll be feeling awkward and nervous the first time you have to pee in a cup in front of a stranger. But after a while, it feels like standard routine and no big deal. The advice that I would give for someone who is getting tested for the first time is that it is okay to be nervous and especially when you don't really know what to expect, let's say a second, third time, you will kind of already get the way it works, how the process works, so it will get easier for sure. For athletes going through the process for the first time, it's really not as big of a deal as you might think. The staff are extremely professional, timely, and do their utmost to give you the best information possible. I later found my initial nervousness stemmed from not knowing what to expect, more than any one thing about the process. If you're a first time tester, you should see it as an opportunity. I think it's a, a good thing. So you should look forward to it rather than dreading it. You're contributing to a, a cleaner sport, to a safer sport. And so I think you should just relax, relax and see it as you contributing to the greater good, I think. So being tested, comes with a point of pride in a way because it I think of it as meaning you're good enough to be worth testing. There are two cases in general uh, of where and when you could get tested. One is in competition, so usually at the venue itself, and the other is out of competition where um, most likely you'll be at home and they'll be knocking on your door say early in the morning or um, at some point when you don't expect it. So when you get chosen for sample collection, you often work with two people, um, sometimes one at competitions, but um, I really encourage everyone to treat these, these personnel as, as people and um, have conversations with them. The best advice I can give you is to remember that the anti-doping officer is a normal human being too, and they certainly aren't there to judge you in any way. Don't be afraid to ask questions and communicate your needs or concerns. For example, um, how to open the container that you're gonna use to pee into, every little step uh, needs to be followed correctly. So don't be shy about asking questions, getting clarifications, and just take your time with the protocols and the process. During my first couple times going through this process, I had a ton of questions. I wanted to make sure I was doing it right. I was a little bit nervous. And so one of the things that I did that really helped me out was I brought a trusted representative with me. So for me at the time, it was a team manager on our national team. She came with me through that doping control process after one of my races at an international competition. Sample collection can be awkward, um, you know, it's critical that the doping control officer can actually see you pass a sample. And in order for them to do that, it is a little bit invasive. There may be situations that you aren't completely prepared for. Maybe you're currently menstruating and you're not sure how to go about ensuring a clean sample. It's totally normal. Even if it feels like the most embarrassing thing, put it in perspective and just ask, how can you best handle the circumstance? Did you fart? Um, yeah, human bodies do do that. Don't sweat it. Whether you laugh it off, say excuse me, or pretend it didn't happen, honestly, it doesn't matter. The doping officer's only interest is to make sure the sample is passed cleanly. The biggest thing for me for subsequent times over the years was simply staying hydrated after competition. The thing to know about doping control, like for example, if it's a pee test, is that you might be there for a while, <laughs> depending on whether you, uh, in the unfortunate case, if you just voided your bladder before you know before your event and now the doping control chaperone takes you over to doping control and you have to produce a pee sample uh, they'll help you with some bottles of water they can offer you but other than that it's kind of just a waiting game you might do a little dance you might try whatever but you know uh, you could be there for let's say an hour another thing that i did almost through the entire 10 years that I went through the, these doping tests was when I felt like there were times that I had a little bit, bit of stage fright, so to speak. I'd turn on a tap, run water, try and focus on uh, myself and just breathing and, and getting that sample out of me. Be respectful and remember that 
Um, these are people, the doping control officers, the doctors, uh, whoever you're interacting with, they're on your team. They're there to make sure this process is run fairly and well. And the other piece of advice is to just uh, be patient and don't rush. There's a lot of uh, little steps. There's a protocol. 